22 Special here. I'm making a keying circuit for this. Well, it's going to be a one pill amp. It was a two pill, but I'm going to make it a one pill. Put the 1000s over here and the 103s on this side. Um, I'm going to put a one pill right in there. I want to put a HG2879C in here <laughs> and do some testing, like as in vaulting it. <clears throat> See what, what it can do. Um, I actually went over this box a little bit just now. I didn't videotape it, but just cleaning it up and putting new power line, you know, putting new power cables on it. You know, needed those. Um, here's my flyback resistor. I don't know why they put such a big 103 on there, but it'll work. This is a box I had for a while, that actually 28's box. Checking the tuning on there, you got a, got a 150 there, which is good, and a 100 back here, which is good. So we'll see how that tunes. I should tune it out, should be fine, you know. Three wraps on the small transformer. Three wraps on the big transformer. 1,000 puff. Got to think about that. I think I can pull this and put a 330 here, and that's all I need for a one pill. But let me look into that. I'll let you know. But I put new wires from the, I think it's the 5 amp, really, to the SO239s. Had some bigger wires. They were too stiff. But, um... Let's see what this thing will do. I'll get it put together. I gotta make a switching, a, a keying circuit. I like these cables actually, it's kind of nice. But anyways, um, NPN transistor. Right here. 47 microfarad capacitor, 35 volts. You wanna do that. Um, 10 puff disc capacitor and a switching diode. And we are going to make a keying circuit. Let me put it together see if it actually works. My large NPN transistor wasn't working for me. I had them on to try them. So I put my 2N222 in there like I normally do. Can you even see it? It's so small. Anyways. So I got the I got the king circuit in there, and uh, I think it actually works. Let me key it up. See, see if we can hear that thing. Wow, wow. It works. So let me get the pill in here, and see if we can get this thing to do some talking, because we want to do some testing with a one pill with a twenty two. Uh, the uh, HG2879C is so many watts we can get out of one pill. So let's get that thing in here. And then when we get that done, we're going to put two in here. And then we're going to we're gonna vault the living crap out of them. And so on. But let's start with the one pill suit we got. This will be the video for today. Um, yeah, hopefully a thing will work. <laughs> I think it will. Okay, bye. I feel like I go through more pills than Dr. Kevorkian. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna take this pill and put it in this box. So I'm gonna have to get some juice on it, as I call it. My this is what I'm using right now. Type Z9 heat seat compound. I got it on the internet somewhere. I've had it for a while, but it seems to be pretty good. One fluid ounce. Hmm. Goes a long way, actually. It's a very big skin irritant. Make sure you get a lot of that on your eyes. Anyways, uh so let me get this juiced up, get that in there, get it put together, and see if we can do some rocking and rolling. So, do I put too much? Eh, some people might say I do, but I rather have a little too much and not enough. If you blow a pill because you didn't put enough on, that's just stupid. So, we'll just put it on like this and... And see what happens. Um, it's very difficult to do like this, but I'm going to try it anyway. 
It's not really how I normally do it. It's easy to grab it with something and drop it in. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to get it in there. It's, uh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Fires, starting fires. Now. Okay. Um, it's a good idea to disconnect the power before you do that. Um, it tends to want to start on fire when it grounds out. So next time we disconnect the power, I was going back and forth. I forgot, you know what I mean? But we get in there, move it around a little bit, get that juice to kind of move around. This is an old box. This used to be an AM power box. 28 had this 20 years ago, something like that. Um, but these screw holes are messed up. So what I'm going to try to do is take this white stuff, this compound on my fingers. It says, don't get on your fingers. It's an irritant. But I'm going to try to take a piece of this lead from the resistor. And I got one here, and I put a little bend on it. Uh, here it is. Wrong one. <laughs> I'm going to try to drop it in the hole. These holes go all the way through the heat sink. So I put a little bend on it to see if I could hook it up in there. Drop it down in here. Um, <laughs> always trying something new. In where the screw goes. See what I'm saying? And I want to see if I can get that screw to work in there. Um, let, hold on, radio. Noise, noise. It's on a dummy load and I'm getting noise. That's pretty scary. So, I'm going to put this in there and see if it'll get tight with that piece of wire. Oh, hmm. Very interesting. I think it's actually working. Took up the extra slack in that in that hole. What do you think about that, huh? I have to make another one for the other side. Yeah, let's try to do that. I'll take this right here, and I'm gonna cut it off. Oh, that one somewhere is not supposed to. And bend the end of it so it'll hang over the hole. Put that in there. And then we try to put the screw in. Let's see. Pretty interesting, actually. Does it work? I don't know, but seems to be tightening up I mean it's just one pill right let me get a different screwdriver maybe you gotta have the perfect screwdriver for these screws man no it ain't that one. Oh yeah that's better oh it tightened down man it actually worked beautiful man once in a while, you get lucky. You know what I mean? Right in there. It's a little dirty. I'll have to wipe it off the Q-tips. I don't like getting this on the leads. I think it could keep it from soldering properly. I don't like it on there. Get this stuff anywhere off the leads. It's everywhere. It's, like I said, it's like mustard. And uh, take my little gripper here. Get this lead on the pill strip which was loose there's really nothing holding it down except for that pill you know what i mean then i take my flat screwdriver get this down there you know how we put, try to push those kind of put a flat on them yeah that one turned out beautiful a little flat on those these are already almost perfectly flat see how there's a little flat on those bend them so they lay nice and flat 
very good, actually. I gotta clean this thing up. But it's a little test box, you know? I'm not gonna get nutty with it. I just wanted to turn it on and crank things up till it smokes. Oops. Sorry, I didn't know it was off. But anyways, I'm just soldering now. Stuff into place here. And I gotta put this fly back. You know, that's what I call them anyway. You can call it what you want. Call it flyback resistor. I kind of like the name. People call them different things. You know, but uh, and this, this amp has been through, I don't know, a lot. But we're going to try to get this working with this pill so we can have a little fun with it. I don't necessarily want to blow it up, but I, you know, well, we'll see. What, I bought a 48 volt power supply that I, that I have to, um, I have to step down. I bought a step down transformer for it so I can get down to, I don't know how many volts it'll bring it down to, hopefully 20. I don't know why it's not focusing real good, but. I got this beautiful light here, which it's not very bright, but you know what? Better than nothing, right? So I'm going to go get my 10 ohm resistor. Ah, that zapped. Um, you know, it's the stuff I, I use a lot, like 100 ohm resistors and, and uh, some other stuff in here, but I got the little 10 ohms in here. These are for on the, the ground side of the fan. So when you put the fan in, you put the ground on here and then you put the ground on here. Then you attach that under the fan and that goes to the actual case. It helps from burning the fan up. It keeps the RF out of the fan. I like to use this one right here. It's a five watt, two ohm resistor. They seem to work really good on any size amp I've built. But my 10 ohms are here. So I'm gonna take one of these and put it on. Woo, quarter watt. Um, these are one quarter watt resistors. I kind of like the half watters, but I mean, I want these to burn quick, if you know what I'm saying. If I have a problem, it shows me the pro. Use the quarter watts. I mean, the half watts take a little more juice to burn them up, but they still work good. It's that most people always used. But I got to cut this down and put it in there. Not a biggie. But you gotta have your little resistor, your 10 ohm resistor, so you know if something blows up. Smokes, the little magical smoke that will come out for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, whew. But anyways, what day is it? It's Saturday. I gotta get this little 10 ohm in there. Move out of my way. Bam, bam, bam. I really like this soldering gun, man. It's great. This uh, Weller, I, I dropped it a few times. Nothing's focusing today. Okay, things weren't focusing. That's my Weller. Um, it doesn't have a number on there. It's 800 and, wow. It was showing 860 for a second. Usually about 850 degrees is what it goes up to. Um, works really good. I gotta get a new blah, blah sponge but um <laughs> i like it i gotta get new tips actually thanks for reminding me because i forgot um so i i soldered this eight oh this 10 ohm in there like so so you can see as it blows up i got the pill in i'm gonna do something real quick i'll be back i gotta i think i'm gonna pull this and just put a 330. I, I don't remember what my best way. Let me, I'll be back. I'll check. I don't know why my brain wasn't working. No, that's correct. This is fine the way it is. The 1000s on here. It's a metal, which I like. So let me try to get this thing all plugged in. And we will turn it on and hope for the best. I haven't, I haven't had this running for a long time. So I decided to do all that stuff to it. You know, put the new power lines and cables and whatever on there you know all right let me get it all plugged in here it is 
and the bird meter with the 100 watt slug and peak. Worldwide, worldwide. Worldwide, 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 worldwide. I love how it swings in that thing, man. A 100 watt bird meter on peak. Worldwide, worldwide. Matt, one pill's working. Good. Yes, it is. 22 is no talking station. Topside Illinois got down. Woo-wee. Yeah, I'm gone now. I'm recording. That's 28. Give me a long distance audio check. I'm working this worldwide 29 classic with a D104 lollipop. Break up, break up. Sounds good, too. And I got this worldwide one pill working right there. Woohoo! Nothing like a fake 100 watt slug. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, actually, right now. I just need more drive. I think it'll do 150 to 200 bird. I know it will if I drive it more. Okay, I'm gone now. Okay, I want to make one more video on this. I hooked up my Cobra 29 side mount mic mount, <laughs> whatever you call it. Mic was in the side. Okay, now this radio is basically stock. It's got a swing kit and, and uh, and it dial a lot, but it, 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 the final has, the, you know, is it does about the same as a stock radio. Keys low, swings to about four and a half bird watts. Um, I want to see what, what it'll make this box do, and then we'll hook up the, the uh, 711 radio, see if it'll make it do more. But uh, let's turn this on. And we have it on RMS, 200 watt scale. And let's see what the thing will do. Doing like 700. I mean 700. About 70 watts. It's on the 200 watt scale. They're doing about 70 birds. Uh, okay, well, we're going to try it. Uh, now we're going to hook up the the 711 radio this one here and we're gonna see if it'll get more oh. watts out of it uh we'll be right back to check that out okay i hooked up the 711 built 29 that's one of the first ones he ever built for me years and years ago he's building a new one for me it's gonna be killer a uh, whole new technology in it it's gonna be killer I wish I had it here right now to see what this thing would do. I swear it would go 200 watts on this one pill on swing. But let's take the old technology from 711 years ago and see if it'll do more watts. That one did about 70 watts. This one up here did about 70 watts. It's a more or less stock radio. And let's see what his will do. If it'll do any more. I like it. It's showing about a hundred. So you're talking 30 watts difference on one pill. You know, I want to tell you something. You have, you know, if you have a an eight pill, that's 240 watts, man. Difference just by changing the radio. You know, I mean, you're talking about a lot of difference in wattage. And uh, I think this could do even more with if i get his new radio i wish i had it i don't have it yet it's going to be done soon with the new technology i think it'll do I, i'm pretty sure it would be in the now this is rms we're checking we're not checking the swing we can we can go on the peak and see what that'll do you know why not fourteen hundred peak I bet it would be Close doing, to, I don't know, you know, 180, 190 peak if I had the new radio. So that radio works phenomenal and is great audio. 
a lot of swing. Gives you more watts, more DX talking. It'll drive your amps really good. But anyways, I want to do this last video just to check the difference between the stock radio and the 711 radio. And that's the old technology. The new technology is going to be bad. And as soon as I get that, we're going to we're going to do a test on that too. But we'll be back later, another time, another day soon to put more volts into this thing and more drive and see how many watts we can get out of it then, okay? Until then, I'll see you later. Okay, I had to do it. <clears throat> I built myself a power supply. I took this transformer out of a microwave, took off the secondary windings here, and I rewrapped it myself. They usually go from 120 to like 2,000 volts. I got it so it's like 120. Now we're at 20.4 volts floating um, non-regulated power supply. So I pulled this out of the out of microwave, rewrapped it so that I would get 20 volts on a 20.4 volts. If I take some of those windings off, the voltage goes down. If you wrap it, more voltage goes up. So I don't know how many wraps I got, but I added some on to get 20.4 volts um, floating with no with no uh with nothing uh running on it i mean the box is on but i'm not keying it down so no load on it uh so i just get the power supply i rewind it get myself a rectifier it's a 100 amp uh rectifier converts it to dc so it goes from ac over there to dc into my cap so i got the capacitor there so we can so we can uh you know, control the uh, the the voltage a little bit, stabilizes the voltage. I got us over 20.4 volts because I want to try this thing with more voltage because I always want to see if these C's do more and can handle it with more voltage. So let's see what it goes down to when I key it up. Oh, uh, 16.817 volts. Okay, let's see, which is perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. That would be the next step in, 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 in driving this one 2879C 20, pill, this HG pill. Um, so let's see what it does now with a little more voltage, it's about 17 volts. Beautiful. So, I mean, according to this meter, what are we doing? It was doing about 1,400 before. I'm, I'm sorry, 1,400. Doing about 140 watts before. Now it's doing about... So it's doing 100 and 170, 80, 180, 180, 190, you see. It's touching 190. So by adding <clears throat> a couple of volts, we were at like 15 volts before, 15.3, somewhere in there. So we're about a volt and a half or a volt and three quarter more. Um, and it's given us some good results. I like it. So this 2879C pill, HG is handling it. So I'm going to hammer on it for a while and see if it gets hot or if it blows up. I'll be back. I'm going to key this cotton picker down. I'm not going to keep a key down for a while. And I'm going to actually uh, LO1111 see if this thing stays working. But yeah, so I built my own power supply. I couldn't, I could, I needed, I needed to do that part of the test. Now, if I need more volts, I could just wrap it more. I might add some more wire and see if I can bring this thing up to like 22 volts so it, when I put a load on it drops down to like 19 and see what it does then and see if this this uh, HD pill stands up and how many watts it'll do. Now I haven't put any more drive in it. It's the same radio I was using. The, the Cobra 29 LTD 711 radio. Um, so it, all I did was add about a volt and a half or so, maybe a little bit more, a volt and three quarters and it was pretty substantial. Went from like 140 to 190 watts, man. Wow, it's pretty significant. But uh, as long as it holds up. 
So let me, you know what? I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna add some more wraps on that transformer, get some more volts, see if we can make it do more. So all I'm doing actually is adding another piece of wire on here, a longer length, see? And, um, and I'm gonna wrap it around that transformer and we'll get some more volts out of it. And you know, if you want to try this one day, it's pretty cool. Just get an old microwave. I think I got one for free. Found one or something or whatever. I mean, you wouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for an old microwave, I guess. And But you want to watch some videos on it on YouTube. There's a lot of them. Be careful because a lot of voltage in there or possible voltage in there that you have to bleed off so you don't get whacked. Um, it's high voltage stuff, man. You got to be very careful. This stuff can kill you. So only do it if you feel comfortable doing it. And making sure that there's no voltage in there. There's a capacitor in there that holds a lot of voltage. That's, that's one of the most dangerous things, is that capacitor that's in there. So when you get into the microwave, you see that capacitor, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ground it out, man. But watch some stuff on, on YouTube or something, because I really don't want you to try it unless, you know, you feel comfortable with it. But So all we're gonna do here is pull this wire through Sorry, you know how that is, one hand. And we're gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna go two wraps. I think it'll bring me to about 22 volts. I'm getting about a volt per wrap, I think, on this stuff. And I'm gonna leave it long this time in case I wanna go higher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have to keep adding wire. It's okay, because the stuff that's not wrapped, in other words, the stuff that's like out here, you know, it won't affect the voltage. It's okay if it's long. It works fine. So we're going to put another wrap in here. Get that a little tight. Put another wrap in here. I mean, basically you can go until there's no more room, you know, depending on how many volts you want. So now this transformer isn't the greatest, you know. It does work. It seems to get hot. So this is just my experimental stuff. So I'm not too concerned about it. So, okay, we did two wraps, right? So now we're going to, you know, get this out of my way. You know, I got to strip the end of this wire with my handy dandy strip. I love these strippers, man. They're getting old, but these things are great. You know, basically any size wire, just stick it on there and strip it. It's pretty cool. So um, I will take this. Yes. They got to. Else I'd be kind of a weirdo, wouldn't I be? Um, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I'm trying to do things here while I'm talking to you. And we'll solder it back to the end of here. We'll put some shrink wrap on it like that. And then everything will be connected and we'll turn it on and check the volts. Okay. So after I get that on, I'll, I'll come back and we'll, we'll take, check the voltage. Oh boy. Actually got 24 volts out of that, two reps. Oh boy. Ah, it's okay. Let's go for it, see what happens. Um, I wanted to say, all I have, I got the power cords coming out of the one pill. And this is all I have hooked to the output of this power supply. They're like 12 gauge wires, man because I didn't realize I was going to be juicing everything. So I didn't take the time to put ends on here, right on here and connect them. But I might have to do that to get full output on the amp. But that kind of figure is doing 24 volts right now. So might get some magic smoke. I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's see what happens. Drops down to 19. Ooh, one, 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 one. Check, one, one. I see some magic smoke. Still doing the watts though. Something else is smoking. I think the fan smoked. Oh, the fan couldn't handle it. It didn't, I didn't have a big enough resistor. Remember I was talking about these, these uh, resistors I use on the fans now to keep them from frying? Well, guess what? Okay. 
their five watt two ohm resistor. But guess what? The fan fried, but the pill still holding up. Let's see what it'll do. Let's see. Let's key it down. Let's see how many. It's at nineteen point one. Hello radio. Hello radio. Wow. Hello radio. Hello radio. Hello. Look at that compact. Swinging two hundred now. One 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 one. That kind of figure working on 19 volts. Actually, it's like 19.2. I have it keyed right now. It's working. It's keyed up. It ain't blowing up yet. And I'm not on the dummy load, so my, my swears probably aren't perfect. Worldwide, 22 got down. That cotton chopper's doing, doing 200, that one pill. It's on peak. Let's go RMS so we can be more realistic. Shh. RMS 150 watts, a one pill, at 19 volts, HG 2879C, and it's holding right now. Worldwide, worldwide, shh, shh, 150 bird swing. Man, see, <laughs> look at that little setup, man. Isn't that great? Make all the volts you want. I can wrap it more. I ain't going. I ain't going any higher than 19. I know it could probably take a little more before it blows, but who's going to run more than 19 volts? And plus, I think these are probably getting warm. Yes, these are getting warm. So what I'm trying to say is, it might do more. It probably do. More. I'm going to try to get a better connection there. See if it even do even more watts because that's that's holding it back. There's no question. Wow. Put it back on peak. Worldwide, 22. Got down, got down. I like. I'm liking HG 2879Cs. How about you? <laughs> okay, let me get something better on here so I can see if I get even more watts. Okay, I'll be back on that. Okay, I went directly to the cap from the box. I just squeezed them on there. We're at 24.1 volts floating. Turn it on. No fan. Smoke that. Let's see if it does any more watts. Ew. Yeah, it's actually doing more. Putting that thing all the way in the corner now. Worldwide 22, worldwide 22, worldwide 22. Look at that thing work. Whoa, radio. Let's put it on the swing side. Back this off a little bit, see what we got. Back it up some more. Let's see how much it'll swing. I like it now. That kind of bigger swing. I just liking it. It's actually liking those volts. I think. You think it'll keep? Think it'll hold up? I'm at 21 point. I'm at 20 volts when I'm talking, because it's it's not keying real hard. So it's key, keying about 20 volts. Whoa! That kind of bigger hold up at 20 volts. 22 and his little kind of picking station got down. A little skip going on here. Let's turn this thing all the way up again. It doesn't do a lot of dead key, even when you turn it all the way up. Hello, radio. Hello, radio. Shh. Shh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that kind of are working now. Look at that. Look at the difference, man. You put them volts in there. So the question is, not is it doing more watts, because we know it's doing more watts. The question is, will it hold up? And so far, besides my fan, a little magic smoke from the fan, it's holding up. Floats at 24, 1, 24. Key down shows 100 watts at 19 volts. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 18, 9, 19 volts. Worldwide, 22 in the station got down. That thing's smoking. You know, I can't, I, the, I gotta take the top off because I don't know how warm it's getting now because my fan fried. My phone rang and it cut the video off. But anyways, 24 volts floating, the fan fried. I opened it up and I realized there is no resistor on the ground. This is where you put that resistor I was talking about between the case and the ground wire. If that was in there, this fan would have never fried. I can't believe there's not one in there. This used to be a two pill a long, long, long time ago. I, I didn't build this, so I didn't realize there was no ground on, uh, no resistor on the ground. You don't put the resistor on the ground, that's what you get. 
a fried fan. The RF goes back into the fan and fries it. I'm surprised that fan still worked after all these years. You know? That's what happens when you run the kind of juice we're running. But you just take this ground wire off of here and you put that resistor right in line, which is I'm gonna which is what I'm gonna do when I change this fan now. That's kind of a bummer. The fan would still be working. Who didn't put one in there, man? Anyways, um, let's see, is it warm? It's really not warm. Holy shamoly. Okay, let's see if we can warm it up. Oh, one, 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 one. Look at that kind of figure go. This thing is just cruising, man. 2SC 2879CHG1. One. one, 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 one. Shh. 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 You see the watts, man. You're seeing it. I wish I had that fan, but I'm running 18.819 volts in my new homemade microwave power supply. Custom wrapped for our pleasure. I'm I'm having a key this whole time because I'm wondering if it's gonna blow up, but man, it's just rocking and rolling. You all know the tuning on this thing now. I'm just talking, man. Audio, audio, audio this whole time. Oh Lord, be my mercy. I have no more hands. I can't see how hot feel how hot it's getting, but I will check in a minute when I unkey. Because we're doing a serious test on these pills, man. Yes, we are. That transformer makes too much noise for me. Quit buzzing over there. What do you want for free? One, 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 one. Woo! Still doing the watts. If I had more drive, it would do more watts. Would it blow up if I had more drive? If I had too much drive, it's going to blow up anyway. But say I had five more watts of drive, man. Still going. If I had five more watts of drive, this thing would probably be, I don't know. <laughs> It might do 250 before it blew or something. Okay, I'm gonna unkey and check the heat. So I'm skipping the background. Check it. Oh, it's pretty warm, pretty warm. You'd be warm too if I was running 19 volts through you with no fan. And this heat sink is beautiful. Look at the size of the heat sink. It'll suck the heat off of there pretty quick. So do I have a fan? I'm gonna go look, see if I have a fan, and maybe we can not have to worry about that. West side. I need more radio stacked up here. Probably gonna collapse the legs on this power supply. A little power supply, it's an old one from, I don't know, way back when, I love it. Um, it's not working right now. I got and it has a speaker in the front, so I got to fix that power supply, probably the rectifier, and then get this. You could plug your radio right into it and hang it underneath. That's what it's made for. You can see the bracket. It's kind of a cool little thing I saw and I had to had to have it. But uh, let me see if I have a fan that size. It looks like an 80 millimeter or something. And then uh, let's see if I can get a fan in there. Okay, I got a temporary fan. It was too big to fit in the case. I just happen to have something at least to keep it cool. And it blows a lot of air. Making some noise though. Blowing a lot of air. But um, at least it'll keep it cool. At least it'll keep it cool because it, you can't really do a good test with no air because it could blow up from overheating. So if it stays cool, and blows up it's just from the voltage or something uh if it's if it's cool uh, yeah i mean if it gets hot it could be from getting hot so i want to have it more accurate um so so far the heat sink's working phenomenal by the way but i turn this thing on anybody hear me singing my song Shh. world Shh. yeah that kind of thing is working perfectly man all around the world, 22 in Illinois looking for condition. I guess I ain't got no condition around the world. 22 Illinois trying out this one pill. I don't know if I get condition on my one pill in Chicago, 22 on the mail. Look at the noise I have here. It's outrageous.
flowing like crazy. Yeah, it's not even getting warm now. At least with the noise, you can hear when I key down. It's at 23.6. It's gonna vary all the time. It always varies with your house current a little bit. I don't know why, but your house current does vary. It's still at 18.9. 19. You know, that thing's holding up, man. I don't suggest running it at 19 all the time. But we had to test it, make sure it's going to work. Shh. Shh. <laughs> you hear it running. You hear me keyed down. Now, you see the resistor I put on there? 5 watt, 2 ohm. That's on the ground side. It's to the ground. It goes to the ground wire of the fan. That, see, and this fan's not blowing up because the RF isn't getting back in it through the ground. I mean, you know, your DC current goes all the way through the positive and the ground, the ground system of the, of the box. I need some condition out of Chicago. I think it's gonna warm up. I don't know, but this fan works really well. You're looking at it. And you can hear when I unkey. I don't think too many people keyed this long, by the way. Look at that, Kyle. One, 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 one. I don't think people keep this one. It's a good test. As far as I'm concerned, this transistor is kicking, man. One transistor on 19. They had to get some you know, advantage on it. It's working good, too. It's actually working real good, that fan, which I need. I could feel the warmth blowing off of that. Heat sink. One, 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 one. No one keys like this long. Nobody. Well, there might be some. And it's not losing anything. How do you like that? Man. I'm tempted to do more volts. Nah, not right now. If you guys want me to do more volts in this, put some comments in there and I'll bring it to you know I'll bring it so it's keying 20 to 21 volts into the you know not when it's floating but when it's when we have the hammer down we'll run it at 20 or 21 volts or maybe I'll go out until it blows up let us know what you want to do I'm still keyed man uh no one's gonna key that long Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Okay. Wow, see how hot that pill is. I can touch it, look. That fan's doing a good job and that heat sink's doing a good job. No problem. Everything else is cooled cucumber. Transformers. Fine, little teeny warm, that's it. Not even hardly at all. No problem. I mean, there's a little warmth, but that's it. I'm impressed. You need a good fan like that though. If you're gonna do, let me turn this down. If you're gonna do that kind of hammering with those kind of volts, you need wind, okay? We do reviews on fans. I, I'm gonna do another one, I just did one. I'm doing a review on a 3 amp fan. I did a 2.5 amp fan that was ridiculous. <laughs> they did 4,500 RPM. And if you run volts into it, it was going to do higher. But that was a 2.5 amp fan. I got one coming. It should be here in a few days. It's going to be a 3 amp fan. It's going to be outrageous. But if you're going to run volts, you know, and you don't want to be changing pills, you have to have good heat sink, good airflow. Don't worry about the noise because if you don't have the fans, 
you're not going to have any pills because they're going to blow, man. They're going to get too hot. Although I keyed for a long, long time. This fan just happens to be loud. It's, it's, it's for some reason, I don't know, it's a used fan I got from off of something, but it shouldn't be that loud. I'll look into it. Maybe something's rubbing. But if you just have a good fan, keep it cool. That's annoying. But anyway, so I think I think we got done what we wanted to get done. This one pill, 2SC 2879 C pill, HG, just took a two or three minute key at 19 volts. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Like I said, if you guys want me to run more volts, let me know. I'll wrap this even more. And I'll, I'll get some more in there. Now that we got this hooked direct, it'll handle it. So, okay. I guess I'll talk to you all later. Bye, bye, bye. One thing I wanted to do is put it on the bird meter real quick. So we'll try that real quick here. 100 watt slug. RMS. Hello, radio, hello, radio, hello, radio. That's an RMS. It's not in peak. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. It's doing like 130 or something like that. 100, 130 or something like that as far as RMS, I think. I put it on peak. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. It just goes in the corner. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. Hello radio, hello radio. That's the Boyd meter. Just wanted to do with the bird meter one time. I'm liking it. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. Look at that cotton picker go, man. Worldwide 22 on his 2879C pill got down. One pill and one pill only. I'm not, like, hugely impressed with the watts, although I like them. I'm impressed that it's not blowing up. Okay, just want to do it in the bird meter, and that's it. Have a good day. Hello around Tampa Bay, 22, Illinois. Hello around Tampa Bay, number 22, Illinois, wave and break, break. I think I got conditions with my one pill. Hello around Tampa Bay, 22, in Illinois. Hello around Tampa Bay, 22, Illinois, wave and break. Right back, 420, just want to wave a hand out of Chicago. 420-22 on my one pill, Chicago. Break, break. There you go. I just talked skip on my little one pill. <laughs> little extra little bonus. Right back around Tampa Bay. You take it easy, man. I won't stay too long and not too strong. I'm on a one pill. I'm on a one pill in my little antenna, 22 Chicago's 10-7. So anyways. Five four two zero. good to hear you out there, man. Hope to hear you again. 22 Little Station Chicago's waving and gone. A97, look at 22, Chicago, break, break. So, <laughs> so anyways, one pill, talk and skip. Woo, we like these little boxes. Shamokin. And I'll tell you what, these boxes always talk better. These boxes always talk better on volts. They just, I mean, they seem to talk better. You know what I'm talking about? The audio is better. They seem to transmit better. They flow better. The swing is better. This thing is, this thing is humping, man. I'm very impressed. You know what's going on next, right? We're going to have two of them in there. That's what we're going to do next. And then when that works, we're going to go to four pills, and we're going to go to whatever pills. But I'm very impressed with that one. Okay, that was my little bonus video. You guys take it easy. We'll talk to you later.
22 is gone now.